Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth Everyone always keep on Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting with a little tour of the utility room or the laundry room if you prefer. This is the before because today we are making over this room and I'm very excited to share the after with you all. So so far in this room all we've done is put up some storage solutions for coat hangers and also put up a pole so that I'm able to dry laundry but apart from that we've put our furniture in that and that's it this is the room as it was when we moved in so the plans are to paint the walls we're adding some wallpaper and we're adding some shelves above the washing machine for some extra storage so let's get started the first thing is the shelves i am just attaching the brackets and then we're going to drill the holes ready to get them up on the wall before we start painting before that future plans for this room involve building a counter around the washer that won't be happening in this video or anytime soon but one it will give us a bit more surface space and two it will prevent the situation that we found when we pulled it out clearly lots of socks and other things have been falling down the back Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. We are now marking out where we want these shelves to go so we can get the holes drilled before we start painting because we didn't want any brick dust to stick to any wet paint. I did find these shelves on Amazon and I expected them to be bigger because I didn't check measurements that was completely my fault but actually this size is pretty perfect for this space it will give us a place to store laundry detergent things like that but it will not get in the way of the pole above where I hang my washing to dry to just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better holes are drilled out ready for the shelves I'm just cleaning up the brick dust ready for us to start painting the paint we have chosen is by Dulux you can see me here 
telling Sean the best way to open the pot for the video which is why he gives this little flourish because he was making fun of me um, the colour is called Overtly Olive and it goes really well with the wallpaper we've chosen that Sean was shouting at me because I had dunked my hair in the paint pot sometimes I actually forget how long my hair is already I would love for you to follow me over on Instagram I actually shared the step-by-step -step, day by day process of us doing this room on my stories so if you want to see things as they're happening that's always the best place because it's usually where I end up sharing things first I'm Leanne Hempsall home over on there too so come and say hi yeah you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more So here is that section with one full coat of paint Generally, when we're decorating, we work section at a time to try and keep the room as functioning as possible. So on this particular day, we did two full coats on this one section and got the shelves up. Um, that's what we're doing here now. So we were able to push the washer back and I was able to carry on with washing even though we were still decorating the rest of the room. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you talking to Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign We are also adding a small rail on the wall here under the shelf We already owned this, it's from Ikea and we had it up on the wall at the previous house and it's just been in the shed so it's going to have a purpose here now you think about it too when the lights go out and there's no doubt that i should be with that i should be we've been on and off again and again i don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control, you push me then you... It's now a couple of days later and we had spent the day before this one getting the rest of the walls painted. So at this point, all of the walls have two full coats of the green colour, apart from the wall that we are going to wallpaper on. These are jar lids that uh, were not in use. Again, something that was just stored in the shed for now, but I am sanding them up a little bit and painting them in the same colour as the wall so I can use them on the shelves. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Next up, I'm just taking these brackets off the wall. This is where I store my coat hangers. You might have seen at the beginning of the video, but if not, look out for the after because I think it's a brilliant idea. I absolutely hate when coat hangers get all tangled up and this has solved that issue for me, but I just wanted them to be the same color as the walls. So I've given them a little sand and then a couple of coats of the wall color. 
Now it's time for the wallpaper. I absolutely love this wallpaper print and I really wanted it on this wall because this is the wall that you look through, that you see when you look from the kitchen and I just thought it would be really nice view around the door in the middle of the room. So it's from Wilco but I think it is discontinued as we picked it up in the store. There was two rolls on clearance and we grabbed them both and it's not on the website so unfortunately I can't link it down below but it is a paste the wall wallpaper and it's the first time I've used a paste the wall paper as opposed to one where you put the paste on the paper first and actually it made it much much easier to work with. It's for the best that you know why you gotta leave me here tonight before we make this even worse it's gonna hurt even more than this does we gave it up we had it's time to say bye baby We are now on the final day, the day I filmed the reveal and I wanted some pictures up on the wall. We already had these frames and I had some spare little dried flowers and bits so I thought it would be a really good idea to put some of the flowers in the frames. I really love how these turned out. You can still buy these frames in B&M I think, I saw them the other day, they are about £3 each and then these dried stem bunches are also in B&M at £3 each and I just use one small bunch so what does that work out as? That's some maths for me to do, three, six, nine, nine pounds for the two frames. I really thought we had it covered Was gonna patch up all the scars But we smashed up The stems did keep moving as I was trying to put the second piece of glass in the frame So I ended up just adding a glue dot to the ends of the stems to make sure they stayed in place And you can't really see these at all when they're up on the wall Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river No more. 
I'm now decanting some of my laundry favourites into these jars and bottles that I picked up from b and I think they just look a lot nicer when you have open storage and these detergent and softener ones, they are plastic not glass but I think they were only £2.50 which is a really good price. I also picked up a small glass jar for my laundry sheets. These laundry sheets are from Adored Earth and I am a brand ambassador for them over on Instagram. I will link the sheets down below. They are an eco-friendly alternative to traditional liquids and pods. So you just put the sheets into the drum with your washing. They are really, really good. They bring up my towels and my wipes excellently <laughs> excellently so yeah i would definitely recommend those and i will link them down below because you can get them on amazon you were my best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep In your worn out sweaters Thinking we'll be on so we are almost ready to share the reveal with you. I'm just doing the last finishing touches, adding that re-diffuser, the pictures, also a light shade in a moment. But that is everything for today's video. I'm gonna let you watch the afters uninterrupted with my voiceover. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye. Beyond the present